yes we could fill it ourselves but plaster is coming anyway so and I don't really fill my own holes don't no don't This might work. Might work, but we need to get across there. Yo, Nick, Adam, doing down lights in the kitchen. We're gonna run you through that in a second, but first Can't of like all, Adam needs to get his mountain gear on, his climbing <laughs> gear, get your harness on, because uh, we need to get to the board. Oh dear, oh dear. So, if you just want to go and isolate that for me, bud, I will run everyone through yeah, yeah. inside. <laughs> I'll throw you. Yeah. Right, well, uh, Systematically, we'll move all that stuff over and then we will go to there, okay? No. Oh. <laughs> all right, so now our mission is complete. We have Mr. Adam, we've got a wall light here, so there's going to be two down lights going in the ceiling. This one's being changed to two down lights. That's staying because this actually has been skimmed. The problem we've had is the plaster was meant to turn up yesterday to rip all the ceilings down. For us to put first fix in, for him to plaster, for us then to come back once it's been plastered to second fix. As you can tell, there's no plaster bin, plaster rear bin. So we have just nipped back, we've already come here this morning, nipped back to the unit, got the down lights. Down lights from Expert Electrical, thank you very much. Use code Bundy10 for all down lights, fuse boards, all that sort of stuff. Put the link below, thank you, Expert. And, um, so now we've just gone to the customer, sod it, we will just do what we need to do and the plasterer can do what he wants afterwards because he'll always make a mess. So we've gone across, we put the plastic roll on all the worktops, put some of that down, literally on every worktop. This that we're going to have six down lights here. So it's just a video to show you really how we're going to try and remove the light. What we normally do is a four inch hole to allow ourselves Hole, uh, hole access, hand, a, hand access into the holes so we can pull cables down, find where the beams are, the joists are, cut across, rod across, so we'll run you through a few steps, but here's a, yeah, look at him with his knife out. This is a knife. Right, we'll get them down and we'll jump back. So what we found out for this one that I've been doing, beams are running this way, which in theory, we probably could put a down light here, which would do the edge of the work to up and a down light here which I'd be quite happy with. Say so he's making more holes because this bit is flat. It's already been skimmed previous. What I mean, the difference is, I'm not sure where you can pick up on the camera. So nice flat finish, then you've got a non-flat finish. So what are these are being, um, they were intended to be dropped, but I've said I'm pretty sure that we can, not we, but a plasterer, if they're capable of doing it. The plasterers that are watching, please let me know, but you could either sand this back, put some PVA glue on it and then skim it flat or maybe just skim it flat as is. I'm not quite sure, but let us know. So, but this one's okay. But then this big one that he's doing as well. So that one's definitely gonna get done. So the least damage we can make here, the better. We can save on a bit of money for the customer, not having to skim the seal in there as well. Obviously a bit of filler in there. Ham's having great fun with this. Yeah, it doesn't work a lot. Depth. What is it, four, five, four screws on each side or two on each side? Two on each side, it's all like painted depth. Over right on this side, boom. We've got some thin, small cable, but we've looked at the switch. This switch just operates this one. So probably the best course of action is we're just gonna cut a four inch hole here, see if we can find a joint box somewhere for this. And then this is getting skimmed, so we can make a few holes in that. But we will always, when you always, when you cut out, there's four inch holes, you keep them, and we'll patch them back in. It makes life, plaster's life a bit easier and it makes our job look a bit finer. Yes, we could fill it ourselves, but plaster is coming anyway, so I don't really fill my own holes. Don't. Are they safe? No, don't. So we just cut the first hole there, found the beam. So the, the joist, the, it's the problem you'll find with houses in general is one part, with one room, beams run that way and the other part they run that way and some of them they change halfway through so there's no real measurement or figuring out how we can't get access above because it's a flat roof so drilled that luckily we found all the cables that lead over to here there's obviously a joint here somewhere to change the cable but we can go straight off there and it means for this part here 
just across from the beam, which will be center of the room. We can put two down lights here. Yes, they will cross. The, the lights will change directions, but equally you've got RSJs that break the ceiling up, which in my eyes, which I've always worked on, breaks the room. So you can count this tiny little square as its own separate ceiling, its own separate room, and that would be different. It makes more sense for the lights to go that way because it's longer. Being this square, you'd rather the lights go side to side to light up the corner of the worktop and the floor space. Yeah. So, unfortunately it's low battery as you can tell. Oh, we had a perfect picture then. So this is the ferret that we used just before Christmas. And I'm probably not showing it very well here. <laughs> we had it good then, oh there we go. So that's the far wall, which you can see where that light is behind Adam. I'm just trying to find the joint box. Yeah, it's quite hard one, did not it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's what we're using. I'm going to put this down because I can't really do it with one hand. Right. I've realised now I'm editing that. When I edit the clips and then I transition into the other ones, every time I get right. So let's try not to do that. Singles here. We found them. We've cut a hole here. What it was is they came up from the garage board into a JB, down to here, back here, back through, back out, back down, joint box in the wall here, and the cable's changed. So I've cut that off here, through there. These are gonna come down. It's fine to join onto singles. We've got CPC, we've already tested it as ZE, and uh, an R1, R2, everything is fine. That's gonna jump off to there, bounce across to this one. Adam's already putting up. I've just moved it higher. It's moved it higher. We put a four inch hole there, to make it accessible for us to put a maintenance free joint box on. And was just screwed to the joist. There's some maintenance free joints on there, left and right. So we're just gonna get this bit finished off first and then we'll jump onto the big bit and that'd be the more interesting bit to film of how we pass it through the joist. Don't you drill it yet? <laughs> and uh, go from there. Go on then. So what I'm gonna do with the, that one's in off there. Obviously this is our new twin and these are our singles. Because obviously from here you've got two neutrals and two CPCs at Earth, whatever you want to call them, and one um, single line, so obviously there's a switch cable. Because in the back of the boxes, you obviously only got room for two lives, two neutrals, two Earths. So what we'll do, mainly free joint, I'm just going to put this up back up in here, we'll screw it to this beam here, putting a new twin in it, it just means that I'm not trying to cram three neutrals in one fitting. It's not good practice. It's room for it to come loose and to heat up. So don't do it. I'm just gonna do it this way to make it more secure. Now it's this fabulous side. So we know the beams are running this way. As we can put my finger here and touch it. So normally, Adam and I have discussed, normally they're about 420 to 450 centers, but that does vary between all the houses. So anything I could sort of do is get a rod here, push it this way. As soon as it hits that, we'll pull it out, get a measurement. And then from then on, my plan with this, so because it, if it's not getting dropped, which I don't think it is now, so it doesn't need to be, we can either take a slither, like I did years ago at my brother's video, the house. And but the problem is I left my Morty tools at home because I've been doing stuff at home over the weekend. So can't do that and we'll just do the four inch thing so on every beam going across we'll do a four inch hole plug that'll allow us to do an angle hole through the joist pass it through and all we'll do is put the six lights in come from the feed go to the furthest one across and back across and back across and back sorry i know it's a bit dark obviously we've got the lights off so that's what i mean so we can put the rod up the finger here which is sort of the edge of the beam Pull that down, bring out the tape measure, which is about 420. See, it was all right. So, sort of centers will be around the 420 for around the 420, 450 mark. So, I'm going to get a pencil mark that I'll try to use a sharpie so I can see it more. This way, that way, start doing some cups. What the way? best, sorry, what way? this way and that way, <laughs> anyway. And uh, but what we I found the best way don't cut directly onto the beam because it's very difficult to get a hole saw around. So, best thing to do 
It's fine, let's say this is the edge of the beam here. We'll cut the hole here, which will allow us to get the drill bit up at an angle. And we'll do that on all of them to be able to rod it through and pass it. Because if you cut that straight on the beam, it's very difficult to get a hole that's deeper than 50 mil into the, into the ceiling without going at a horrendous angle. So just, I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so I'm just setting the laser up, but, so this is what I mean, so. Uni Light sent me the new power bank. Just got a torch on it, so I'll give it a go. So beams there, so this will allow me to get, with my third arm, because I don't actually have enough, enough up there to be greater. Oh God, great camera angles, hang on. So this will allow me to get my drill bit up higher than the 50 mil depth in case anyone ever wants to put some plasterboard fixings in it's not going to hit my cables but equally this will allow me to go back this way and look with the camera or the torch or whatever to look to make sure there's nothing no pipes no cables running the other side there's nothing worse if you're blind drilling you're drilling straight through for all you know you could hit straight into a pipe so i can do a run all the way across to here that's not a proper downright hole that's just I'm just doing it for rough measurements. We'll measure off that, get our holes then cut for the down lights. Then we can cut out all the joists and then we start passing some cables. And then on here, we can just do our maintenance free joint onto the joist again and feed from that. That's just setting them up. We've lined up where we wanted. We've had a bit of a play with measurements because when we measured that one to that one, it was landing in the center of this beam. So we've just shifted everything a little bit. And luckily, we were going to do it, but because the RSJ is in the way, it doesn't really matter. But these downlights here are actually perfectly in line with these ones, which is nice. Fed off this RSJ. So they're in there, and we're going to get all these holes cut. What we normally do as well, if it's a dark ceiling and we can't see marks on the ceiling, stick a screwdriver in the ceiling. The laser is then easy to hit that and mark directly off your first hole. We'll go and cut these out, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with cutting through the joists and feeding it through. Right, it's a bit of a Oopsie daisy, that's the song isn't it? Oops! Oh, well, I'm not going to sing it because it's got profanity in it Adam. Um, just passes the torch please. I really need to charge on my lights up, I can't be doing with this anymore. So there's actually, it's leak, the ceiling's had a leak because it's dropped down. But it's, it's double, thin, it's double it? joisted here. From the measurement of here to that, it's double thickness so obviously we can't get the measurement correct. So we can patch that back up, the ceiling's been skimmed, it's not an issue. We'll just move it over a couple of inches. Uh, what it needs to be but yeah even with your measurements these things happen like oh oh blind myself so yeah it is what it is so we could just shift that over is that right mate bright isn't it ow <laughs> sorry right so that's all on about for an extension bit and the phone so obviously Adam, if you can just come around here a second so my beam is here so obviously from here I can scoop round, but I want to be drilling, sorry, go on the other side now, sorry for your thing. I want to be drilling this way. I've obviously got a hole here for this beam, but I don't know what's here. But by using my phone and my camera, can you come this way again? <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying no. not to make everyone feel sick. From there, I can see that there's no pipes, there's no cables, anything, so I'm going to happily drill through. And we'll just go around and do that on every single beam to make sure there's nothing in the way. We can get a clean run. From there, while I'm feeding the cables through, Adam's gonna redo this, stick it in a maintenance free joint box. We're gonna take a feed from there, straight to the end of the last light, and then it'll go from one light to the other, to the center, one light to the other, to the center, one light to the other, and end on a single. So that will then complete this. We plug the holes back in, and then it can really be skimmed at some point. And obviously the best thing about the lights we're fitting is they can easily be unclipped. Our, point, uh, our joint and connection box is still in the ceiling, which you've seen here. That'll hang down, unclip that. Plaster can then do what he wants to do. And then hopefully we can just fit these after with no plaster on our lights. So while Adam's just making up a few, I'll run you through the, what we've done. I've just gone through, got some wood, plugged up all the old holes. So it'd be a bit easy for the plasterer. You're welcome, Mr. Plasterer. Right, so I've plugged all the holes back up now, as you can see, straight down. And I'm just finishing that off. Plug this one up and these two over here. So we're very nearly done, that was quick. Uh, we've got just as a socket that's loose down there we're gonna have to play with. We've been able to sweep up tidy up the um, 
plastic sheet into it to treat all the worst types. So we can just peel that off. Give it a bit of a hoover up afterwards. Turn it on. We're not going to put any bezels on because if they're going to get dropped, what's the point? They're all wrapped up separately. Obviously, some people might be wondering why we're doing it downstairs and accessing it up because above there is laminate flooring and obviously here it's flat. So that's the reason why we're accessing it from below. And obviously, the, originally the ceiling was meant to be dropped, so it was always sort of in the plan to do it. So we'll get it tidied up, we'll get it turned on. We'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Last little job here after all the lights are all on and up, all done. Happy days. Brilliant. Friends, I don't like friends. Uh, the box is missing the lug here, and it's. I know you can get the fixer ones. All right, just get some light in here for you. It's a bit of a funny one. I've never actually seen a box like that with the the, the lip it has got. So uh, Adam's left his keys inside. I like to play games with Adam actually. So when he gets near the van, we just lock it like that. Oh, damn. Anyway, so I think what we're going to do here is just fast fix it in, just get fast fix box, remove this one. Power's already off, so we'll just do that. Did it in, done. New oh, one, that shiny, shiny. Just use it to the Batman beer. Yeah. Like you just said. Yeah, because it's all about the van life. <laughs> right, last little bit, screw that back, and uh, we'll wrap it up. You good job. Can I was about to say that to you. Can you cover your nose up, please? Mine oh. keeps falling down as well. There you go. I think I put it on backwards. There's a, a bit on backwards. Is it right? Look, backwards? Know. No, it's meant to go on the front of your face, not the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, don't put it on the back of your head. Right, we're done. I hope that was a bit more insight here of sort of how you get around it. Obviously it's not perfect, there's different ways to do it, but that's how we've done it today. Everything's nice and clean and tidy. You good job. Me good job. Me Just good saying that, I don't oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I thought you were just pointing. No, 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 you are. Well, let's go there. Right, see you soon, bye. Oh, bye. no, before we go, go over to Adam's channel and watch all this stuff and subscribe. Yeah. Wonderful. So right. we can beat Nick, come on. No, you, well, <laughs> you're a while off. Yeah. You're a while off, you could do, one day, maybe. This year, what? This year, yeah. Okay, right. Come on. Bye bye. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs>